So then um, I proceed to scrape. And uh, you can see that uh, here and here, I can take from this side. This one at the very edge here, I of course, need to go from the other side. I use a little bit different technique now. I push and lift up. I find that this is, first it produces no bursts, makes no bursts, and you have less um, need to stone. It can be when used for finishing, be nice. You have to have a technique like the professor, I guess, not just adopt my technique here, because I often get chatter a little bit like, you know, brrrt, depending on the, the force I use. Okay. And uh, I'm not sure if you see, but it has helped. We got scraped, then some new spots arrived outside of that, and uh, this this one has disappeared but then revealed some lower spots and see that this area is the lowest on the other side some new spots so it helps of course it helps then we'll continue on no not that way but that way so this is of course then not necessary apart from proving this in use for reference. So I have now worked a little bit more on the surface or surfaces and then uh, I guess it's time to to test also here if we can find the highest of the blue spots because as we've learned, there is a distinct difference between the what you now polish off and the lower sp or the high spots. So if we are able to see here, you can see it, some shiny spots, for instance these ones. Now they shine, they have been, the blue have been polished off and you probably will see some of the other blue spots which are a little bit lower. So of course what we want to do is to work on the very highest. I'll take the other side also. I polish just on the uh, plate. Yes, here we have some fewer spots, which was I, what I was looking for. If you can see here, there is a lot of blue here, but only one or two spots. And I would want to mark them up, because then I know which ones to attack. So here, for instance, I see three distinct spots there and there and here. Maybe a little bit here also and here and over there. A little bit here and there and this guy so yeah sorry so this blue now red dots is the highest of the high spots so all then just do these now and here is where bump scraping comes into comes in handy and also then making a 
site. So bump scraping is more or less like giving the scraper a bump. Not extremely good at that, but I'll try. See? My sight is terrible. Got them covered, but there is also an old, and then just stone the rest away. And there is also an alternate way, which I will do on the other side, namely to use the, the biax. Move a little bit out. Same applies, but now the idea is that you have it on a steep angle and just touch it once to where you see the red dot. A little bit better here, although long way to go. Okay. And of course be some burrs after that treatment. So then just uh, have a look at it now. Okay, on this side, I don't remember if that was what I biaxed or hand scrap, but anyway, uh, I got more points, yes. I think the revealing thing is this side where I got quite a lot more points. So, um, I think actually this is side I took by hand scraping I'm not sure anyway so just carry on you can of course do that another time now just once more try to polish off again and here as you can see now some more shiny areas in the blue you can also if you have um, you can see the blue ring um, picturing this is like a, a, a top that has been a round top that has been cut off flat you will see the the perimeter as a blue ring Yeah, here yeah. much more uniform, but still some like this one, for instance. So carry on.